DeepSeek took internet by storm with the release of the reasoning model R1, which is on par with OpenAI's O1 model, and it is completely open source, and it is available in different sizes. And in this video, we're going to look at how we can use DeepSeek R1 as well as their chat model, which was released a few days earlier. And the pricing of these models is probably one of the best out there comparing with the performance. So we're going to look at how we can use the R1 model as well as the V3 model. And we are going to build different applications in Langflow with a completely drag and drop approach without having to write a single line of code. So to get started, first thing we're going to do is we are going to go to the DeepSeek platform. You can visit the platform directly by going to platform.deepseek.com. And the first thing you're going to do is you might have to top up the balance here and then get the API keys. And this is what we're going to use in Langflow. Now to test out the base version of DeepSeek model and how it works, we can start with basic prompting template available in Langflow. So I'm going to click this and you'll notice that it is configured to use OpenAI as the default component. So we are going to delete that and we are going to add DeepSeek based chat model here. So I'm going to search for DeepSeek and we'll notice that this is available in the model section. And then we just have to wire this up. Now, since I had one wired up, I'm just going to use that. So I am connecting chat input with the input and the prompt that goes to the system message. And if you notice the template for the prompt is quite simple. We're saying that you are a Gen AI expert and you're going to help us with that. So first thing that we're going to do is we are going to use the chat model. And for the API key, I have added the API key in the variables. You could just copy paste in the input here. And then with that, we can start chatting. So I turned on stream. So I just want to see the response right away. So I'm going to go to playground and I'm just going to say hello. And what we'll notice is that the flow is going to run and with the stream we have the response right away. So just to give it a try I'm going to ask how to build a Gen AI app with Langflow and we will see that DeepSeek Chat is going to provide us some steps on how to build the chat application and it seems like it has some good knowledge on how we can get started with Langflow, install it and from there build the workflows and then connect with our API and then either export as a code or connect with external frameworks and some examples. So this is quite nice and also I have got reference to some of the resources, nice but we're interested to see what the reasoning model does. So we are going to swap that out to reasoner. And now we're going to ask the same question just to avoid the chat history. I'm just going to delete the chat and I am going to ask the same question here as how do I build a Gen AI app with Langflow? Now what happens is with the reasoner model, there is a reasoning component and then there is the response. So the response is what we're going to see in the platform form here. And this is what we get from the reasoning model, a little more detailed, and it provides us with similar documentation. And where this model really shines is for reasoning tasks. So for example, if I were to ask question like how many R's are in the word strawberry, so it goes through the cycle of reasoning, thinking, and then coming back with the answer. And it seems like it gets the answer right. And this could be applied to many different reasoning tasks. 